السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. You know, it's a very passionate moment for me to talk about Sheikh Anouti. The first time I had the privilege of meeting Sheikh Hanouti was in 1982. And it was in New Jersey, and he introduced me to his family. And I see his son, Ali, when he was a baby at that time. So that refreshes in me the character of Sheikh Hanouti that we went all the way, friends, scholar, a student. I used to argue with him, and all he used to say to me, I am a student, bring me your proof, and I am willing to accept what you say. You know, we used to meet, I was reviewing with my memory, where's the first time in Virginia I used to meet with him in a class that we meet every Wednesday with a group of brothers from McLean to Annandale. Two weeks, I remember once only in all these years that I intentionally decided not to come on Wednesday class. That was two weeks ago. I had a guest, and I felt it is too late for me to go. I sent him a text message that I cannot come. I was not in my heart really happy that I missed the class. My son, I don't know if he is here or not, he's working in California. And he told me, I'm missing two things in Virginia. He was in Los Angeles. He said, I'm missing the class of Sheikh Hanouti, and I'm missing a Friday. So he decided to come, and he is scheduled to arrive on June the 2nd, which is Tuesday, so that he can join me on Wednesday to come to the class at 7.45, I received a text message from Samir Abu Isa that the class is being canceled. I told my son, he became very angry, very stressed. He said, I came all the way from California to attend the class. And then I called Samir. Samir said, his eye is hurting him. SubhanAllah, Allah is my witness. Around 9, 9.15, I had a feeling that Sheikh Hanoudi passed away around 9.15. I turned my phone off most of the time. In the morning, I came to pray Fajr. And then I saw a text, a voicemail from Sister Fathiyah, who attends the class on Sunday. She left me a message that I heard that Sheikh Hanoudi passed away. Please call me if this is true or not. And that was 4.44. Then Brother uh, Hamad Idrisi made the iqama and he started to cry loud. I did not figure out why he is crying. Although I have this feeling that something happened to Sheikh Harudi. Then after the salah, Sheikh Shakir shared with us the news and it was very devastating that I missed the class, but it was not meant for me. Today, Friday, I talked to Sheikh Shakir, at what time you finish? Because I have two khutbas every week in, in, in Washington, D.C. I need to adjust, it was too late for me to cancel. So I need to attend, and at the same time, not to miss with the, my going to D.C. He said, at 11.40, we finish. Subhanallah, 11.40, you know, I love Brother Shakir, I know him for many, many years. His passion made him to pass the 11.40. And then with the janazah, I became stressed. 
am I going to make it to DC or not? I parked my car far away, and then I rushed. Subhanallah, we Muslims, sometimes we forget how to behave as Muslims. When I went to pick up my car, I found all the exits are closed. Brothers are parking their car. Yes, they have the passion, but they do not care that someone might be having an emergency. But alhamdulillah, I was able to attend. I could not go to the cemetery. My son, just to share with you how much he had passion, he came at 8 o'clock in the morning. He is stationed in the library, and he sat next to the casket. And he had photos with him, and he's sharing them with me. I said, look at him, he's sleeping. So no matter how we talk about Sheikh Hanuti, but it's a legacy that we missed. But I always make a dua that, oh Allah, you blessed me and my brothers to attend the class with him. Inshallah, we will meet with him in Al Jannah, ala surin mutaqabilin. Inshallah, say Ameen. Wassalamu alaikum.